show you a bit about both the complaints and corrective action functionality of Armanino's Life Science Solution for Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Operations. Complaints is an area where customer complaints can be logged, and it provides functionality for investigations and resolutions to your customers, as well as the ability to create customer return orders and to escalate complaints to a nonconformance or corrective action. I'm creating a new complaint here and we'll select the priority, a category of medical device, subcategory of catheter. I'm going to say this is for item MD012. The sales order dropdown is then restricted to sales orders for that item and the customer information defaults in. I'll select the line number, which brings in the quantity. The owner defaults to the user entering the, the complaint, but any other quality user can be selected. The Complainant Fast tab is used to enter information about the com complainant if they are not a customer. This could be an end user who purchased the product by a retail store or distributor. The information in the installation address defaults in from the sales order line, but can be edited if needed. I'm going to click OK to, com to create the complaint. This opens the complaint form. A few of the fast tabs we haven't seen so far include call-in script. Call-in scripts are predefined questions that your customer service personnel can ask the complainant to aid in investigating the complaint. Depending on your business processes, the regulatory tab is used to determine if any regulatory decisions must be made. This could include reporting to governmental regulatory agencies or information pertaining to legal issues if there are product liability considerations. If it is determined that a nonconformance or corrective action should be created from this complaint, that can be done here with these nonconformance and corrective action buttons. It's also possible to create a return order from the complaint. If we had created a corrective action from this complaint, the Kappa Fast tab then displays a link to those records and also allows you to note why these actions are being taken against the complaint. The Conclusion Fast tab is where you can add a root cause and resolution codes. And finally, the Authorization Status Fast tab is used to close the complaint. Depending upon your setup, one or more quality users must sign off to complete and close the complaint using e-signatures if desired. Next, we'll look at corrective actions. Here we can create new corrective actions as well as view and edit existing ones that are not yet closed. A few highlights of corrective actions include the type. Here, this one is vendor, but other types available include customer, internal, which is linked to a production order, inventory, Kanban, and SOP audit. If this corrective action had been created from an NCR, we would see that number populated here. The CA motive indicates whether this corrective action motive is reactive or preventive. Since this is a vendor corrective action, the next fast tab is vendor info, and we can see that this corrective action is tied to purchase order number 167. As with complaints, corrective actions have their own series of steps that must be completed prior to closing the record. And each of these fast tabs is essentially a step. In addition to creating corrective actions directly from the Life Science Quality menu, corrective actions can also be created from other areas, from a purchase order, a sales order, a sales return order, production order, or a customer complaint. If you'd like to learn more about Armanino's Life Science Solution for Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Operations or receive a personalized demo using your company's data, just let us know.